Hello from OGS Mechanics and OGS Mechanics Hybrid and EV. I'm George and here in our workshop we fix cars. All types of cars but mainly specializing in hybrids and EV vehicles like this. Stay close for interesting repairs translated in videos. Here is a BMW G Series with a very important topic, the cooling. And more specifically the air conditioning. The car is here for some AC problem. Now, how deep it is the problem? So let me put it a bit in perspective because already a component has been replaced. So we're gonna do this video to highlight two things, how the system operates and potential problem and discuss about this particular case. This is a heat exchanger where through it, it runs the AC gas and the coolant. And the idea is to cool down um, this coolant. Now, so far so good. The problem on this vehicle, it was that this was defective and it has replaced prior to coming to the garage. And let's talk about the situation. So the vehicle was running, however, the AC was not running. And what we have here on the table is the air conditioning. The air conditioning compressor, the aircon compressor, runs powered up by the high voltage. So this is the connector um, from the charger control unit that powers up the compressor. So it's not a normal 12 volt system, it's a um, compressor that runs on a high voltage. Now, come here on the car, the compressor is hidden away under the um, inlet manifold. The heat exchanger is located here. Here we have the electric motor inverter, which is cooled down with the coolant that runs through that heat exchanger. So I think we've got to have a good presentation of what's happening under the bonnet. Let's see what is, what has happened on this car. So we've run a test and it seems that it was a problem with the AC compressor. More precisely, it has failed the isolation test. What does it mean, fail the isolation test? Internally, so this is a new compressor. We have those two little pins in there. Those little pins are actually, let me put a light on. Are they visible enough? Are they, how are they? Yeah, yeah. So those two pins are actually the DC current going into the compressor, basically the one that powers up the compressor. And when we do an isolation test, that circuit, it should be separate from the housing. And we'll do this test with the old compressor that we have taken away. So we use a ground. And if the test is good, this needle, it should stay about midway, so about um, five, just over five. If it fails, it's going to come to zero. And I'll explain you in a second what it happens. So it goes down to zero. So this is a fail test. Basically, what the test says, there is resistance, there's low resistance between the high voltage circuit and the body of the compressor. Let's run this test here with the new compressor. very high resistance. See? Now, <clears throat> when we've seen this, my first thought it was that when this component has been replaced, the AC has to be regassed. Now, it's a, it was a possibility that the right gas, the right oil has not been used, which also very critical, but because on the hybrid, electric and hybrid vehicle, where the compressor is run by the high voltage system, the oil is different. However, it was not the oil. And let me show you exactly what it is. Akil, can you hold them? So look what is leaking out of the compressor. Can you guess what this is? It's not oil by all means. It is coolant. Coolant in the AC system. This should not happen. So what this means? 
is a massive problem in the whole coolant system, in the whole AC system, because that coolant is not only here. It's throughout this new component, throughout this receiver dryer, throughout all the pipes, throughout the evaporator inside the cabin. We're just gonna blow slightly just to have a look. So have a look in there. Is there enough light? Yeah, it's fine. It's plenty. Throughout there. Then the high voltage battery is underneath the car. It's also cooled with the AC. So all this circuit, which is meant to be only filled with AC gas and oil for the hybrid um, system, is now contaminated with coolant, which is conductive. This is a massive problem. Now, it looks like everything happened when the oil, uh, when the old heat exchanger was inside the, the car and in there, coolant. Can we still, do we still have here also, no? See? So, in here, we should, it's fine to have coolant. In here, no. But obviously, because when this part has been replaced, what happened? The system has not been flushed. This is so, so important and it's not an easy task by the manufacturer. When this problem occurs, all AC system has to be replaced. Yes, you heard it right. So starting from the part that is defective, going to all the pipes, all the, um, the uh, evaporator inside the car, the um, coolant uh, pads inside the high voltage battery expansion valves. So this is a massive, massive job due to a part that has failed. Obviously, this one has been replaced and no additional work has been done, it has compromised also the part because this we might be able to flush, but the receiver dryer, no chance to flush because it has accumulated a lot of moisture. So this is a big problem. Living in like that, you know, the car still drives, but living in like that is not going to mean that uh, you're not going to have the comfort of the AC inside the car. It means the high voltage system is prone to fail because it's not going to have enough cooling. So from a simple problem, a bigger one has developed coolant into the high voltage system, critical, something that um, ruined the whole system. Well, from an operation perspective. Solution, some components have to be replaced, like the AC compressor. Could be a chance that all this can be flushed and might be good, but it's a big task and there's a possibility um, the resistors might, not be, might still be there. All the pipes have to be flushed, which is going to be a very tedious job from the access point of view. I have to make sure that no moisture is left inside the car. We're going to use gas like this, which is a nitrogen free oxygen to flush the system. It's, a, it's going to be a very, very difficult job. Again, I said, we have to make sure there's no liquid left in the system because otherwise we're going to end up with the same situation with the failing AC compressor. So in a nutshell, this is how the AC works. This is a big, big problem on this vehicle that is going to be um, a very expensive repair. I hope this gave you a bit of understanding of the importance of the air conditioning on hybrid and electric cars, importance of using the right uh, oil and addressing an issue um, correctly when it occurs. If you liked the video, don't forget to um, give me a thumb up. Leave me a comment if you'd like to understand more about um, anything when it comes to electric and hybrid the electric vehicle and hybrid vehicle and stay close click the um, subscribe button and notification because we have constantly interesting videos from the workshop with interesting repairs i will see you next time